Josh, in the previous video, we talked about the importance of value alignment between the candidate and the organization. I just want to ask you in that sense, is it important to have 100% alignment, 80% somehow, mm -hmm. or it all depends on the person and the organization? Yeah, I mean, it, this is such a subjective question. I think I'll start by saying that it should there should be a values fit. Mm. There should be some um, some relationship. They should be a um, um, parallel, perhaps. Uh, they should be related if you have personal values versus what the organizational values are. I think even more important is understanding what the company's values are and what they mean and understanding what your own values are and being aware of that because there's always going to be a gap. And so by being aware of that, you can understand how do you bridge that gap? What is it that, what is the distance between those? And then you can get into this more intellectual exercise of like, oh, my 80% aligned, am I 100% whatever that is. You have to make sure it's right for you, because if an organization is really focused on efficiency and getting things done, but you're more of a, a creation, that's going to be a hard, hard gap to fill. Maybe you can find a team that focuses on that. Maybe your, your particular department or manager is appreciative of that. But if there isn't that connection, then that's not going to, that's not going to be a job that's going to last for very long. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's important. Uh, I like that you just said values fit because I feel that that's important uh, to understand, especially nowadays, everyone knows their values. Everyone knows, what they want to accomplish, and if they see those values in the company or they feel that they can grow, that would be very beneficial for both parties. But also, do you think that people can add values to the company, or it depends? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that is a good question. I mean, I think you can add value. Um, I think you can help shape the conversation. Uh, I encourage my clients to think about what the intent of that value is, what is it you're trying to communicate, but also ask the employee how they're going to deliver on that value. So if you have a frame, one of these values, you can say, I understand what the intent is, this is how I'm going to enact that. And your manager or leader says, that's exactly right. That would be a wonderful way to think about it. Perfect. Perfect. And if you're going, hey, I know you guys were thinking about this value this way. I'm thinking about it this way. Maybe we can stretch the meaning a little bit. Maybe this is, and, and, and there's a reception to that. There's, they're receptive. Terrific. Yeah. Yeah. Again, it's have to have open communication with your manager. And as you mentioned, if they're receptive and open, to have those conversations or changes, why not? And if they are not open, it all depends again for the candidates. Maybe as you mentioned, maybe this is not fit for you, but again, it's all subjective. It all depends what you want to accomplish, right? Exactly. And again, thank you for sharing your knowledge. Uh, for the audience, if you have any other tips in terms of uh, value fit, or if you have other things that yeah, should be important or taken into consideration, when applying for a job, please leave it in the comment section. Love, uh, like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and tune in next time for another question with Josh.